Hey Gemini, Empress 777 here today with a general love reading first half of January. Happy New Year's guys. It's going to be general of course, so take it as it resonates. May or may not resonate. Can't be for every Gemini. Holy Angels and Spirit guys, please give me clear and concise messages for my Geminis. Right? Put yourself where you belong in the story. It's going to be geared towards messages from your person. What do they have to say? What do they have to say for themselves? Guys, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do so now. I would love and appreciate the support. Let's dive right in, okay? Let's see what for my Geminis. These are super hard to shuffle. All right, what do we have? Oh, yeah, your person wants to talk. <laughs> we will be together. Okay, so they're determined. This person is determined. They feel like you're their one. They're going to do whatever it takes. I heard that. Okay. What else we got, spirit? What does this person have to say? What are they talking about? <laughs> okay. All right, so... Can I call you? All right, so you guys are possibly not talking to this person. May have blocked them. All right. Or they're intimidated. They don't know how you will respond. I get the energy that this per you have the potential to make or break this person. So they're scared. They don't know what your response to their communication will be. They're waiting, but they're determined. There's only you. All right, so... This person is definitely trying to get you to see that they only see one person for themselves, which is you. You were too good for me. Wow, we have a lot of cards that came out, Gemini. You're always on my mind. And I wasn't prepared for you. All right, so this connection may have hit this person by surprise, okay? This could potentially be somebody who's used to being single. I definitely feel that. Somebody who's used to being single, Somebody who is used to uh, gallivanting all over, <laughs> wherever, you know, dealing with multiple connections and you kind of just caught them off guard. Definitely get that energy. You were too good for me. So they definitely know what this connection was. I feel like this is some sort of soulmate connection, divinely guided kind of connection, but they ignored that. So they may have sabotaged that. Oh, Knight of Wands. Yeah, so <laughs> this person. All right, so you may be dealing with a bit of a player here, Gemini, okay? As much as I hate that word, that's exactly what the Knight of Wands uh, card is. It's flighty energy. It's inconsistent energy. You don't know what this person is doing. You don't know, you don't know what their intentions are. They don't have plans for you. They don't express feelings. They just don't. They just don't. And you have the uh, inkling that there are other people on the side. And that's why they're trying to say, no, there's only you. But their behavior suggests something else. So this is why you're not even, it's red flags for you. That's what I'm saying. This person has presented red flags for you. And this is why they cannot get a hold of you. <laughs> You've disappeared. You have fallen off the grid. All right, so if they want to ever be able to find you again, right? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I get that kind of energy. If they want a chance that this energy has to disappear, this is what needs to disappear. If they want you to reappear, this is faded. Okay, this is a faded event. Okay, this is fate. Um, I do feel like things will go in your favor. This person is determined to be with you, Gemini. They, they are going to want to fix it. They're trying to let you know that they're not seeing other people. But I think that they gave the illusion that they were. Why would they do that? You were too good for me. Because this person is insecure, Gemini. They're, they're an insecure type of energy. So to feed their ego, to feed that need to feel like they are good enough they keep several energies around, all right? That's what I get with this Three of Cups. Um, now, they are saying that you are the only one. 
I don't know. I might be with you, Gemini. Are they lying or what? Is it a lie? Because it definitely, if, with the Knight of Wands here, that's a player-like energy. But I think they may have been putting on a facade, all right? Because they don't, they're not secure within themselves. You may intimidate them a little bit. They may have been putting on this front to try and make themselves feel worthy enough. Does that make sense? So this could be someone who is actually not even dating anyone else. But they gave the illusion that you were an option. And this is why you just peaced out. You just left. Yeah, the hangman and the kid. They love you. Oh God, what are they doing? Who told them that this was the correct strategy? I would like to know. Who was their coach? Where did they get the idea that acting like a player, acting like, you know, you were one of many was going to get you to chase them? That's what I heard. To kind of chase them, to try and fight for them, to try and, yeah, this person has a bit of an ego. They like people to try and feed their ego and fight for them, right? Be the ones to initiate communication, be the ones to uh, reach out and initiate um, outings and, you know, be the one to, to really take the reins and, and pull them in. They want somebody to chase them because they are insecure. I'm just going to say that. I do feel it. I feel it. So they're just kind of hanging back. They don't know if you're going to answer the phone. They love you. They love you so much. They love you. This was all a front. They are not a player. They're not. There is only you, but they put on this front like they had other people, which was a manipulation to get you to chase them. And it backfired big time. Yeah. <laughs> Three of Wands. So now they're just sitting there waiting to see if you will reach out to them. I don't know what the likelihood of that is because they don't know if they can call you or not. <laughs> and why are they waiting? Because you're always on their mind. Yeah. They won't be waiting for much longer. I'm going to just say that. With this Eight of Wands, that's fast moving communication. This is higher level of commitment. They're going to apologize. They may come in and really open up about what they were doing. They may express their feelings to you, like what they really feel for you. Stop hiding behind this mask. Yeah, truth, okay? So you are gonna get the truth. They are gonna come forth. They're gonna tell you what the hell they've been up to, what they've been doing. Because if they don't, then the potential of you guys being together is out the door and they know that and they are determined. We will be together. That's first card out. So they're going to come in and speak their truth and hope that you will accept their offer. Hope that they haven't burnt the bridge. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. What is the advice spirit? So they want to fix it. Why would you? Why would they do that? They really sabotaged it for themselves. They're not a player. It's only you, they said. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Taking all these. Let's see. Let go of control issues. Yeah, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And this is them. They were trying to control the outcome of the relationship between the two of you by pretending to be somebody else. We now see how that's worked out for them. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So this is you. You may have freed yourself from this connection. They are going to try to come in, though, and fix this. Why? Because they feel like you're their soulmate. All right? So... I don't know what you guys are going to do. This person definitely loves you. They put on a huge major front because they have a huge ego, but they're coming back in. All right. So this is what I've got. Let me know if this resonates, guys. Click that like button. Definitely click the subscribe button. See you next time.